Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending uh, today's topic, uh, how an investor uh, wants to create a real estate portfolio to achieve his or her financial freedom goals. Uh, once again, good day. My name is Si Wing Yi from the Yi Real Estate Network. We are a real estate investment club. Uh, physically, we come out of San Francisco Bay Area, but we have taken our real estate investors from not only from California, from other part of the country to buy uh, investment properties, cash flow properties in the best growing markets. And uh, we've been doing it for a very, very long time. And my special guest uh, speaker is Ms. Maureen McCann. She is a, a co-founder of uh, Spartan Invest. And they are also a, uh, for the lack of a better term, a term, real estate turnkey provider, meaning they, they provide a, uh, a unique business model where out-of-state investors from anywhere in the country or anywhere out of the country for that matter to buy cash flow properties off market, off market with, uh, with total transparency, total property management, everything all in one umbrella and they do a very, they've been doing very successfully. So without further ado, uh, thank you, uh, Maureen, for attending. I'm just, uh, uh, um, well, anyway, thank you for attending. I know how busy you are helping with investors uh, buying properties in your market. So, uh, uh, so anyway, you have anything to add? A, a, a quick uh, intro uh, of yourself? <laughs> I, I, really I do. Want. I actually just want to say thank you and welcome to everybody. I. Um, when C Wing brought up this idea of doing these spontaneous topics, I have no idea what's coming. I just said, you know what, C Wing, that sounds fun because it's not canned. It's whatever you bring up, I'll be able to speak to. Um, just drawing from my vast network of resources, readings, blogs, anything that I, you know, put in my brain as a studied student of turnkey rental properties. I thought, you know what, what a fun challenge. Let's just you bring a topic up. You don't even need to tell me about it ahead of time. You can just tell me right now on the call and let's see what kind of value we can bring to your listeners. So that is why I'm here because one, he's entertaining and super fun. And two, I never know what to expect from him. So here we go. There you go. That's the fun of it. And uh, as a real estate investor, you folks out there, you have to, uh, you have to improvise, you have to uh, adapt to the changing environment. So uh, thank you for attending. So without further ado, uh, let's uh, share my screen and open up my slideshow. And uh, Maureen, allow me to go through my, my quick few minute presentation, then you could uh, chime in on it uh, throughout the next uh, 15 minutes, hopefully. All right, so with that said, <clears throat> again, the, uh, we can go with a case study of a typical real estate investor the assumptions are, here's my case study, the investor profile, he or she is married, age 40 to age 60, salary around $150,000 per year, W-2 salary. Uh, this individual lives in high price markets, uh, could be San Francisco Bay Area, could be Southern California, Seattle, Washington, Chicago, New York City, New Jersey, Boston, et cetera, right? And the typical application, uh, uh, occupation of this, uh, turnkey mom and pop investors, if you will. They are high tech, could be engineers, could be support personnel, uh, healthcare professionals, a mid-level executive. And the uh, investment horizon is 10 years, uh, 10 plus years investment horizon. Furthermore, here are the financial profile of this uh, individual. Uh, they, they, uh, they, they have one, around $150,000 of cash or stocks and savings available. And this individual, uh, uh, he or she wants to uh, do financing, 20 to 25% down financing. And uh, also this uh, investor have around $200,000 in the IRA. Uh, uh, he wants to invest into uh, single family home rentals as well. And the goals are uh, this investor wants to diversify into real estate in addition to other uh, uh, investment they have, stock market, mutual funds, whatever. Uh, down the road, this individual wants to live off the passive income as much as possible. 
uh, for the uh, for the retirement future. And in addition, they uh, these, uh, these investors want their risk portfolio to to build equity over time. And uh, this individual will have at least wants to buy at least five to seven properties, maybe more down the road. Uh, and uh, this individual have a uh, want to pay for children's college around seven to 10, 10 years away. In addition, the retirement horizon is around 15 to 20 years, years away. So upon further research, this investor, uh, upon further research, this case study of this investor have identified a, a, a growing market, a hot market, in uh, uh, that where the numbers make sense, uh, typically South and Southeast. However, uh, uh, some of the markets in the South and Southeast, for example, in North Carolina and Florida and, and Texas, where if one were to buy those new construction homes or newer resale homes, you know, it can get pretty pricey. Uh, you know, typically around two hundred fifty thousand to three hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars are single-family homes. Although the rent, you know, makes sense. You know, the rent can they can rent it out for two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars. You can still cash flow with twenty five percent down payment, even even with a five percent interest rate, what have you. So this investor want to maximize their cash available, wants to buy more properties, cheaper properties, where uh, where they can uh, where these investors want to scale their investment. So uh, finally, this investor, upon further research, wants to buy those, uh, uh, wants to go into a market where is not really too much of a, of a cyc cyclical market, or is not too much of a you know tertiary market. Hopefully, I say that word correctly, tertiary market, <laughs> and uh, marine, and also so this market uh, is Alabama, Tennessee, this region of the U.S. Well, I can call it hybrid market. So uh, uh, momentarily, Maureen, you may want to expand on it. So what I mean by hybrid market uh, is for this investor is that uh, the investor want some appreciation, uh, but they, uh, I mean, we are, the other market, we just discussed Florida, Texas, and North Carolina, and a few other markets have exploding appreciation in the last few years. And, uh, but this investor, you know, again, they want a, a, a hybrid a kind of a strategy, meaning, you know, be nice to have appreciation long-term, you know, four to 6% perhaps, not skyrocketing uh, appreciation, you know, that's not conducive. Uh, and also these investors want a little bit of cash flow, not really high, high cash flow, but enough cash flow, uh, you know, to, uh, to feel comfortable. So the uh, hybrid market, uh, in, in this investor's definition, uh, a decent cash flow, decent appreciation, a price point is around 100 to 200,000, a little bit be below the threshold of the other South and Southeast markets. And so therefore with this $150,000 or so, this investor can buy more property for less down payment and still achieve a consistent return cap capitalization rate, uh, a rent to value ratio, uh, you know, uh, cash to cash return and total ROI. So all those numeric metrics that investors need to look at. So without further ado, the market as we see here, Maureen, uh, which is uh, comes right back to you, you know your market well, uh, the, the market, the, the investor are potentially want to pull the trigger with 20% down payment, maybe 25% down payment if there are some duplex or triplex available, but mainly single family home rentals is the ideal portfolio. So the, uh, the following markets are Chattanooga, Tennessee, as you can see, and then Huntsville with, with uh, uh, Alabama, which is right there, as you can see, and then Birmingham right in the middle of Alabama and Tuscaloosa on to the west of, uh, of the part of the state. And then of course, uh, that, uh, a year to two years down the road, this investor want to uh, continue to invest to leverage more with financing, maybe in the other part of Tennessee, you know, also, you know, like in the suburbs of, of Nashville. I know Nashville is uh, kind of hard to cash for these days, but maybe 50 miles, uh, you know, outside Nashville or, or something, uh, Clarksville, Tennessee, maybe Knoxville, down the road, right? I mean, so, 
Uh, with, that, with that in mind, uh, the further research that the investors have done, uh, they have identified this market, the price point really makes sense. Uh, typically, uh, this type of home is available, turnkey off market properties. Uh, as you know, uh, what I just mentioned, based on the occupation and the investor profile, this individual is very, very busy, working very hard, 40 to 50 hours per week. And, and then you have a family obligation to take care of. They have simply not enough time to do their own research, to manage their own pro, uh, portfolios, uh, all that actually work associated with the, with the uh, do-it-yourself type of investors out there, which is extremely challenging. challenging. So these investors are looking for a one-stop shop organization that can you know, uh, help these individual to buy these kind of properties and have an uh, in-house professional property management where even with a five or 10 properties portfolio down the road, this investor can uh, merely spend a couple of hours per month managing quote unquote this or her portfolio. So these are the type of you know, properties, as you can see, 145K, good benchmark, 125K uh, in Alabama, Athens, Tuscaloosa, 115. And then this Chattanooga, Tennessee properties, 325K. I believe this is a duplex. So there's a nice mixture of property. Then below, there's some new builds too, not just you know, these homes are resale, I understand, built 1960s, 1970s, even 1950s, but they've all been rehabbed, turnkey, ready to go, uh, you know, uh, and then there are some new construction also available, as you can see down below, uh, uh, for a little bit higher point, like uh, to, you know, uh, the mid 200s, have a good bench, uh, so, uh, you know, very good to have, a, to mix in the new construction property, rental properties, along with this resales, uh, cheaper properties. So, uh, so this is a typical profile. This investor is gonna buy systematically by first property to see how the experience is gonna go. If the experience uh, goes well, this investor could buy one or two properties more with financing every few months. So in a, in a mere six to eight months, typically, this investor could very well buy, you know, all these properties uh, they're all uh, within uh, his uh, uh, comfort level. So again, I don't wanna go through the, the numbers, too much, but Maureen will talk about it because she's an expert in this market, just so you know. The number makes sense, right? We're talking cash flow with 20% down payment. You look at the numbers, look at the rent uh, estimation, uh, you know, so as you can see, the numeric metrics really make sense. Part of cash flow, as you can see, $172 in this case. Uh, if, if we're financing a uh, typical property, you know, two bed, I mean, two bedroom, one bath. Uh, built in the 40s, uh, 828 square foot on this very inexpensive 102,000 property. Then another property, 115K, rents for 850 to 950. Uh, good numbers, uh, really makes sense. So, uh, uh, and uh, cash flow 20% down payment, similar here in Alabama, 125K, rents at uh, 890 to 990. As you can see, the, the numeric 10% uh, cash uh, return on financing and and what have you, and total return is also very important, 28.3% total return on the investment uh, down the road. So uh, as you can see, you know, three bedroom, one bath, 1960, all rehab, all turnkey, everything fixed up, ready to go, ready to be rented on a very good rental market, very good rental market. And then Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, also up and coming uh, area, uh, according to many various resources, you know, top, uh, you know, uh, population growth of in-migration from other parts of the U.S. And of course, everybody want new construction, you know, for obvious reasons, right? New constructions are really very highly desirable, very, very hard to get, right? Because most national builders are not building uh, uh, new construction homes for investors. Even if they were to do it, they don't build entry-level homes for investors, right? So if, if an investor will want a $250,000 new construction, they're gonna have to go to a source, go to a builder who's built specifically for investors, right? So that's the key of uh, connecting yourself to a network. So again, uh, so, uh, and then uh, 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 I, I took the liberty of uh, going through the cash flow analysis. We're not gonna go through it today. Uh, but, uh, uh, but, you know, the numbers make sense, you know, crunch your numbers, if the numbers make sense, then, you know, you will, then you will uh, potentially pull the trigger. So uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to toggle back to Maureen McCann. 
So Marie, so now you hear our high level investment goals and objectives based on financial resources, based on their research and due diligence. Uh, take it away, share, share with uh, us, the audience, why do you think this portfolio is pretty decent that the investor have a uh, have the resource available to do it and who's the, who can do it other than what you do in that market so marie mccann take it away oh, I, oh, all right hello I painted a really nice picture can you hear me yes i can hear you go ahead Beautiful. We've had some audio troubles initially, guys. So hopefully my microphone will, will cooperate. It's important that I get, that I at least reach out to you and um, you know, connect with you in a way to really help you if you are interested in building a real estate portfolio. The first question is, right, why would you want to do this? You hear about it, it's kind of like, you hear about NFTs, you hear about crypto, you hear about commercial real estate, mobile home parks, parking structures, laundromats, real estate, residential, single family. You have, there is a variety of vehicles for you to choose from where you are going to invest your capital. But the biggest question is why are you doing it, right? And you have to have that clear in your mind. And I can tell you with, uh, with the 13 years of experience, I have had many conversations with investors, and the reason why they choose or they choose single family or how they find me is because they have a financial goal. And the financial goal is usually one of five things. I don't want to work for the boss for much longer. I hate my job. I want to find some way to get out of it. Um, as a matter of fact, I talked to a gentleman yesterday who used to be, he called himself an expat CPA who was so bored in his job, he hated being behind a cubicle, that he now owns 30 single family properties in, I think it's called Bay City, right outside of Houston. Um, and that's his business now. He runs, he doesn't work for, he works for himself. He manages his 30 um, units himself. So that got him out of the rat race. So that's usually one big motivator. The second is paying for college for kids. The third is, hey, they love their job. They just want to supplement retirement because they realize, look at where we are right now, you guys. We have no control over the economy. We have no control over monetary policy. We just have to pivot and react to what is happening around us. And so when we are looking at gas prices, I know there's many people around the country, but gas prices here in California are 650 maybe even closer to 700. I haven't gotten gas in the last couple of days. It changes that fast. Um, so inflation is all around us. The, the government just reported that the inflationary rate is, eight, is recorded now at 8.5%, the highest it's ever been and the fastest it's ever moved in 40 years. And I don't think it's going to slow down right now, right? So you, when you're asking yourself, okay, I don't want to work for the rest of my life. I don't want to work in this job, or maybe I do, and I just want to supplement retirement, or I've got young kids that are going to go to college and I need to afford college expenses, or my tax bill is so high, I need to find ways to legitimately reduce my tax liability. Investing in real estate is a great idea for all of those things. It's an exceptionally good hedge against inflation for two reasons, appreciation and amortization. Those two tools will help you as an individual take, say, like C-Wing said, take your 25% down payment, let's call it uh, a $150,000 house, that $30,000 that you take to acquire a $150,000 asset, which you didn't have to pay full price for because you've got the bank to subsidize the other 80% of it. And you then allow the renter to pay down your principal through an amortization schedule. So the principal pay down is like putting money back into your account year after year, and it gets bigger year after year. And then you have this beautiful thing called phantom income called appreciation, which just shows up because you hold the note on the paper, right? And we're seeing record, record appreciation at this point right now. Will it be sustainable forever? No, it won't. 
but get your money in the game so that your 30 grand can appreciate 20, 25% as we, as we have seen over the last 12 to 18 months, just through the increase of value of the home because of the low inventory uh, and high demand. So what C Wing was saying in the very beginning, so I can bring this all together, describe the typical profile of an investor, what that investor looks like today. I'm pulling in the piece of, hey, think about your why. Why are you wanting to? And if your why is big enough, you know, you want to get out of the rat race or you want to just supplement retirement. What if, how would life look 10 years from now, 15 years from now? And then you've got anywhere from five to $10,000 of residual monthly income coming in from your rental properties. With sort of a, a financial, if that valve of that financial pressure is relieved, right? Just knowing that that's coming there. So if that's what you want, then you have to get educated in a space, find trusted resources like Sea Wing, maybe some other podcasters that I know really well that I could give a shout out to. I'm happy to share if you guys reach out. Um, but there are some really qualified people out there that are reputable, that are doing exactly what you want to do. So it's not theory, it's what they're doing in practice. Um, and so the, what C Wing was talking about is, you know, you got to have the right mindset. Here's, the, here's what the typical investor looks like. You know, 40 to 60 years old, they make 150 to $200,000 a year. They are, are, you know, when you're in your 40s and 40s to 60s, you're looking at a couple of things, retirement, healthcare costs, um, and maybe you have kids that are in college, right? So these are all big expenses we need to save money for. And one income, guys, let's admit it. One income is not going to do it. Even if you're a household with two incomes, still not going. You need variety of streams of income. We happen to like single family rental properties. It could be something different for you. But the main point is, is that take your capital. Don't sit on the sideline. Put it in something that you've studied and researched and wait for the, the rate of return and the cash flow. That's important. Yep, Maureen, you're absolutely right. I mean, uh, the next step is uh, before someone take action, which is the most important key to uh, achieving financial freedom, uh, taking action, which a lot of people are afraid to do so, uh, especially buying out of state property. And uh, briefly, Maureen, you can explain uh, to the audience out there that uh, your uh, company, Sparty Invest, have the ability, uh, you have done most of the research for investors, uh, you have uh, your team, of uh, uh, property managers, the rehabbers uh, within your team, the diversity uh, consultants, and the people you know uh, behind the scenes have done all the advanced work. They have picked, you guys pick the right house, we have the right house, put the right tenant in, and over time, your professional property management would do all the work. We we'll send the investor, you know, uh, you know, investor have a monthly portal. They can monitor, you know what's going on, maintenance issues or change of tenants, whatever. But, but uh, investor can buy four, five, six or more ten uh, properties, multiple properties uh, using a turnkey system like you guys and uh, really work very passively, remotely, very, very little work, even less than part-time. So can you share your in investment philosophy why your turnkey provider in Alabama and Tennessee can do all that for our state investors? <laughs> Simply put, yeah, I mean, you did a great description, so thank you. But simply put, we are just, we are a, an operator that based, that essentially just makes you as a busy professional, it makes getting into rental properties easy for the busy professional who wants to diversify into real estate, but doesn't have the time, inclination, or even just the drive or desire to look for a hunt for a property, acquire the property, find a contractor that actually shows up and does the work that he or she says they're going to do in the time that they say they're going to do it in the budget that they said that they were going to do it in. Um, and then, you know, get it through that whole process, then get it to uh, find a qualified renter, do the background check, place that qualified renter in the property, and then do the ongoing, you know, decision-making on a daily, monthly, you know, annual basis to make sure that we're good stewards of our investors' capital and getting a return on that capital. So what we recognize is that when we started, when my business partners and I 
started this company um, almost nine years ago now, it really was just focused on helping investors build a real estate portfolio for financial freedom, period. Um, because we know they don't have the time to do it or they don't want to do it. And some do. It's awesome. They can do that on their own, like the gentleman I was talking to yesterday. But interestingly enough, see, when you know what he said to me? He's got 30 units. Um, he's, he's aging. He's elderly. Um, he wants to pass it on to his family. But guess what his family does not want to do? They don't want to manage the properties. None of them. They don't want any of the headaches. They're like, no, uh, grandpa, dad, you do it. You know, we're just going to sell it. When you pass on, we're just going to sell everything. Or we're going to hire someone else to do it for us because you don't want to do it, right? So everyone has their flavor. This particular investor, he loves painting and redoing things. And it got him out of his expat CPA boring job that he hated. Um, so, And that's what keeps him busy and involved. In other people, they love their job. They love their freedom with their time and their family. But they still want to have residual streams of income. And they want someone else to do it for them. That's exactly what we were designed to do. So we buy, renovate, tenant, manage, and help investors build a portfolio to get to that cash flow, monthly cash flow number that they want, usually in the future. I ask investors for a short-term cash flow goal and then what their long-term cash flow goal is. Short-term is, hey, what are you looking for on a monthly basis from each rental? What are you trying to clear? What are you trying to net? Because one, I'm trying to figure out, can I deliver what they want, right? If they're saying, I want you know, $500 a door. I don't have that. I used to have that years ago. I don't have that today. I've got, let's call it 150 to 250 is what I've got right now. And that will get pinched as interest rates rise, but rents will rise too, but they just lag behind. So it'll eventually catch up, but it's not all about the cash flow. Because for the 13 year career that I've had, it has been my sole focus. It's like cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, cash flow, cash flow. And the markets for that last period, like last 13 years, the markets allowed for that because we had record low interest rates. We have affordable housing, right? In the markets, in my backyard, uh, Alabama, Huntsville, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, and Chattanooga, Tennessee, and soon to be opening North Georgia. So, you know, there are avail there's availability, not even in your backyard. Most of you guys are probably looking, I can't buy a million dollar or a half a million dollar rental property and it's not going to cash flow in my backyard in San Jose, California. But is it possible outside of your backyard? Yes. And if you've got an organized team of people that are incentivized to perform on a high level, because when we perform and hit our goals, we get paid too. That is the way that we're structured. And so I kind of jokingly say, you don't even really need to know us very well or even trust us because we are, we are designed to deliver the result that you need. Because when we, when Spartan does that, then we get to earn our residual income too, only if our investors are earning residual income on their property. So if I'm collecting rent, then I'm collecting my 9%. But if I'm collecting $0, then I don't make anything. And that's just the way a turnkey company should work. Well, Maureen, you said it all. You, have, you gave a very, very good recap. And thank you so much. And of course, my network all have... Uh, um, have experienced your process in the past and we will continue to do so. And you guys have done a great job. So if an investor out there like this turnkey approach, uh, have a, you know, just have an autopilot uh, um, uh, in a way, once you buy all these properties and delegate for others to, uh, uh, to manage your portfolio over time, long-term investing, where well, you can overcome anything. You can overcome recession, inflation, or all the volatility you've been hearing in the current environment, you know, you need to ignore all the chatter, be courageous, overcome fear, take action, take consistent action, and have a positive attitude, and just rely on team. We work as a team, all of us. So thank you so much for listening, and hopefully this, uh, this, this big financial picture uh, really resonate with you guys, uh, uh, investors out there, and hopefully we will work with each one of you. So uh, thank you so much, Maureen, for, for your great presentation.